Would you like to learn more about the remote hiring process and how to conduct remote interviews? In the wake of COVID-19, many people have had to work from home. Not only that, but people entering the workforce during the pandemic have had to apply for jobs remotely. As an employer, the online recruitment process can be daunting if you've never done it before. You might be asking yourself, how can I best communicate with my candidates? Which applications should I use to interview them? But don't worry, all of these questions will be answered and more because we've got some tips for you to help ensure a smooth interview process. I'm Alex here with JotForm, let's get started. It's always a good idea to start by pre-screening applicants for interviews. Some companies receive hundreds of applications for one job. Rather than talking to every single applicant that comes your way, you can save time and money by using pre-screening questions. Here are some example pre-screening questions. How many years of experience do you have? Are you able to work in the company office? What are your salary requirements? How many hours per week do you want to work? Questions like these allow you to learn more about the applicant before you actually meet them, and you'll be able to filter out any unqualified candidates. Next, design a scheduling system. This is a great way for you to have all of your interviews scheduled in one place. In fact, JotForm has an appointment scheduling feature that works perfectly for this. You can find it at jotform.com. You can set up a range of dates and times that work best for you to interview. Then, when you send applicants to the scheduling link, they can select which date and time they'd like to have for their appointment with you. Next, share pre-interview communication. Applicants aren't sure what to expect during a virtual interview. Sending your candidate an email with details regarding what to expect out of the interview will help them to better prepare for the interview. This email can include the interview format, is it over video or on the phone, a phone number or link to access the interview, and instructions for downloading any necessary software. Another useful tip is to have your list of interview questions ready. Have a standard set of interview questions prepared so that you can ask all candidates the same set of questions per the Equal Employment Opportunity Act. Plus, instead of wasting time trying to come up with interview questions on the spot, you'll have all of the questions laid out in front of you. This will help your interview to move more efficiently. You should also utilize technology to facilitate the conversation. Video interviews are much more common now, so tools like Zoom, Google Meet, and Skype are perfect for this. But remember, if you aren't familiar with the chosen system, make sure you test out the system before the interview. This will allow you to work out any potential issues and lead to an effortless interview. Have a system in place for post-interview evaluation. Using an interview assessment form is a good way to properly measure and track the outcome of the interview. This also ensures that all candidates are being measured on the same scale. Interview assessments make it easier to compare your candidates side by side so that you know you're choosing the right person for the job. Finally, send feedback to all candidates as soon as possible. Not only should you offer the position to the candidate you've selected, but you should also reach out to those who did not get the position. This will help the candidates who were not chosen to move on to different job opportunities. It's also crucial to send feedback as a way of protecting your brand. Not getting back to candidates for weeks on end or not getting back to candidates at all could create a negative impression of your company. It's important to get back to your applicants as soon as you've made a hiring decision. All right, let's review. A lot of aspects of the regular interview process apply to the remote interview process. There are just a few small changes that can be made to make the process easier on you and your potential employees. Pre-screen your applicants to remove unqualified applicants and make the interview process faster and smoother. Design a scheduling system so your applicants can easily schedule an interview with you. Communicate with candidates before the interview so they know exactly what to expect. Then finalize your interview questions and use technology to leverage your conversation. Next, use a concrete system for post-interview evaluation so that your candidates are all evaluated on the same scale. And last but not least, send feedback as soon as possible. Using these guidelines is the first step to making sure that your remote interviews run as smoothly as possible. Following these approaches will make the interview process easier for you and all of your interview candidates. Thank you everyone for watching. I hope this video was helpful. I'm Alex here for JotForm and I'll see you next time.